And everybody just sort of nudging up to five out of 10 now for an effort level at your preferred cadence. And uh, just one thing that I see, you know, I started out on the bike pretty serious level right away and um, was working and didn't have the sort of lifestyle a lot of bike racers in my time did. And I uh, really focused on getting my key workouts in and consistency and not trying to kid myself. I was, I was going to sometimes get in these really long days, but just really make sure that I was getting something in, something quality. That's where I started doing a lot of indoor as well. Something quality, something that really counted, and uh, it'll take you a long way. And it's far easier on your body to be sort of tuned into this uh, stimulation daily rather than a massive whack of stimulation going out for some monster ride and then not doing anything for a couple of days. So I know that uh, we'll all have different lifestyles and things, but something to think about. And uh, right now, five out of 10 at an effort level, and I want you to just bring it up with me a little bit. In 30 seconds, you're gonna bring it up to your 60% or six out of 10, just using your gear. Okay, so holding on to this preferred cadence in and around 90 to 100. We're gonna be riding a preferred cadence for the whole workout today. I'm gonna get some finding my sensors. Okay, bringing it up now, using your gear. Two, one, up, up. So we're doing a workout that's really um, designed to stimulate building your threshold power. Going to do a lot over it, settling back at it. This is your hour power and uh, going into it with some pretty hard efforts, floating at that threshold power and then coming out of it hard again. Okay, 60% number right now. Relax shoulders, light through the elbows, soft elbows, light hands. <clears throat> Try and relax. I'm turning the pedals over 95-ish RPM, right around <clears throat> optimal efficiency, 90 to 100, 105 you may be getting used to. And let's just back it off. Again, 50%. Using our gear just a little bit off. I wanna get you ready for going into these hard efforts. So we're going to do a little bit more in the beginning where I'm bringing you up to a higher output before we get into our three hard intervals here. Okay, back to 60% again. Bring it up, a little bit more gear. Getting used to that rhythm, used to that cadence, you're gonna use for the whole workout. Ticking it over. <clears throat> We are getting our max aerobic power test video up. Just needed a little bit of detailing. I'll help you understand a little bit more. Those of you that haven't actually done your numbers, help give you a guideline. Holding on at this 60% right now. And I'm gonna have you bring it up to your 70% number. So seven out of 10 on my cue in five seconds. And you're holding the same cadence. In two, one, bring it up. Seventy percent, nudging into your hour power. And this is where we're gonna be doing our middle portion of the interval but we're doing rhythm breaker in and then hard push out. So that 70, 75% does not feel 
as manageable as it does when we just go into it straight up in a steady rhythm. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, holding on to this number though right now at a steady rhythm. <clears throat> Another 15 seconds. And we're gonna play around with a little bit of cadence. I'm gonna have you bring it up on my cue. It's gonna bring your effort, wattage, up, unless you're on a bike that adjusts it for you, in which case, this first lift, I want you to try and bring it up 20 watts. So using cadence and making the adjustment in gear if you have to, two, one, up, up. Pushing it well into your hour power now, but using leg speed. Good job, guys. Hold on to it. Awesome. 10 more seconds, and you're gonna drop back to that original leg speed. Hey, Donna, good to see you there. <laughs> And back off to your original leg speed. Talking early on about how all the different disciplines Len does contribute to our trick bag, bag of tools, all the things we use, different parts of cycling, not to get locked into thinking, oh, I'm a mountain biker. I don't pedal my bike fast. <laughs> or, oh, I'm a roadie. I don't like to use huge gears going up a hill, whatever. Okay, gonna do that again. They all contribute to your overall cycling development. We're gonna use that leg speed again. Add in gear if you need to. Up, up. Come on, guys. Pushing it up, into, and over your hour power. Good job. Hold on to it. Another 15 seconds. Relax the shoulders. Bring them down. Eyes up. Light hands. Try and stay just steady. Centered on the bike. Five more seconds. Two, one. Back to your original cadence. Hey, a little trick here. Have a drink while you're at this output. Good. Thinking about that all the time. Now, you're gonna bring up the gear again. I want you to touch your eight out of 10. <clears throat> Not gonna stay there a long time, but I want you to feel it before we do the intervals. So, 15 seconds using your gear. Holding this cadence. <clears throat> Just over five. Start thinking about it. Add on the watts if you're using it on a device. Two, one. Click up the gear. Just on your bike. Feel that new pressure. Muscles accept it. Feet have to deliver more pressure to the pedals. Eight out of 10 now. Awesome. We're gonna hold it for another 30 seconds. You're gonna be using this. Right at the end, I'm gonna ask you just to wind up the cadence. Little, little bit. Getting ready now. In 10. Okay, we're gonna push it up. Five to 10 RPM, just for a few seconds here. Two, one, up, up, come on. Wind it up, eyes up. Five, two, one, and bring it back down. Nice and easy. <clears throat> when you're doing, a harder high intensity workout. It's important as much as you can to introduce your muscles to the feeling without 
carrying it over so long that you build a whole bunch of lactate and you want to find that balance you'll see you watch the Tour de France something like that you'll see when they're doing a short time trial prologue <clears throat> they sit on their trainers a long time getting ready getting all their systems stimulated okay these efforts and you're gonna go in 30 seconds for the first one 30 seconds I want you to try and do that 85% number and up a little higher if you can you're gonna float in the middle for three minutes at that hour power 70 to 75% you're gonna come out as hard as you can all right all your choice of cadence 90 to 100 we're going in 10 seconds this is 30 seconds in disruptive hard effort into your hour power to follow two one come on guys push 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 take it up hit that number really good guys come on just over 10 take it right into that middle piece a little bit more come on three two and now float our power comfortably uncomfortable but very uncomfortable because of coming into it that way okay fight through this first part find a cadence that delivers your power as efficiently as you can recover recover that's 30 seconds awesome keep it going keep it going relax anything you can don't cheat on this middle part this is important if you've already got a number you know you can do for an hour right at that functional threshold we're really trying to push that <clears throat> so you're learning more okay guys you've done a minute you've done almost 90 seconds <clears throat> hold on to it just tick away at that rhythm in the middle keep focusing on relaxing anything you can the comfortable part of this comfortably uncomfortable is a lot just in your head training yourself to do it keep it right here keep it right here awesome just over a minute now bite-sized pieces right bite-sized pieces just think about the next 30 seconds looking ahead of the bike <clears throat> don't get yourself drifting off we can drift off in the recovery a little bit all right right now don't change anything until I cue you in 10 seconds you're gonna bring it up to as hard as you can out in your drops if it works going in three going in two bring the gear up and here we go up 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 come on push it out of this interval come on a little bit more use leg speed halfway through come on guys all the way no cheaters this is working on that ability in three two one easy back it right off take the easy easy you have two minutes so soft pedal if you aren't sure what that means <clears throat> think of rolling your pedals over with very little behind them in terms of resistance or gear but you're moving your legs 
Still doing circles. Recovering. <clears throat> hey, that's 30 seconds of your recovery. So you can see the principle here. This, whatever kind of bike you ride, this really develops your ability, <clears throat> not just overall <clears throat> threshold power, we all want to be better there, but also your ability to change pace, to go hard when you need to. Things like starts, if you've ever done a mass start anything, there's always, I remember the Fondo the last time we actually got to do it with however many thousands of people a year ago. Is that all it is? <clears throat> the starting neutral was over 40K an hour. <laughs> kind of set you up for, <laughs> set you up for a bit of a burn into finding a comfortable pace after that. So this is useful for learning those transitions. 20 seconds, okay? Same thing. Should be at least 50% again by now. Bringing the gear up. Keep trying to find a bit more gear. Remember, you're opening up at 85%. 8 out of 10-ish, less than 10 seconds. Here's my countdown in three, two, one. Come on guys, 30 seconds, drive it. Eyes up, look where you're going. Good, hold on to it. 15 seconds. Come on, push, 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 push. Think you can, think you can. Now we're gonna go into that threshold power. Coming up in three, two, one. Find it. Feels awful in the beginning. Get that rhythm, get that rhythm. Preferred cadence, 90 to 100. Wherever. You're delivering power more easily, more efficiently. All right, there's 30 seconds. 30 seconds, starting to feel more like yourself. <clears throat> Talked a little bit the other day about our group riding. Sometimes you like to lead, sometimes you like to follow. <clears throat> Some people have an incredible ability to stick to a wheel, use it as a focus, use it as an imaginary bungee cord. <clears throat> sometimes mentally, you ride with someone, and we think, oh, I know I can stay with him, her. Actually pulls you along a little bit. You're halfway through this piece. Really good. Give the shoulders a check-in. Give the arms a check-in. <clears throat> Sometimes we like to be a bit of a control freak. Be on the front, dictating the pace. Amazingly, that might be a way to keep a feisty friend in control a bit. <laughs> Go to the front, ride your tempo, <clears throat> a bit more comfortable for yourself. Okay, we're into our last minute. We're thinking of it piece by piece. <clears throat> we know we want to go really hard out of this effort, but not projecting how hard that's going to feel. Take it pedal stroke by pedal stroke. 10, 10, 10. I like to think of 30 seconds hard as 10, 10, 10. I'll give you that. All right. Getting ready now. Using as much cadence as you want, but I suggest more gear as well trying to get to that big number at the end. On your drops, another one. Bring the gear up. You're going in three, 
Going in two and one. Come on, get after it. Push it through for this 30 seconds. Awesome. Drive it. Drive the train. That's 10. Come on, guys. Eyes forward. Almost at another 10. 10 to go. Come on. Push, 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 push. Come on, everybody. Last three, two, one. Easy. Soft pedaling again. Recover, recover. Okay, starting to feel better. And the last one is gonna be coming up. Just over 90 seconds. So don't underestimate how valuable this stuff is placed in and around other things you do. <clears throat> One of the sure ways not to improve in a sport, especially this sport, is just to do the same, same all the time. <clears throat> We're challenging different parts of our capabilities and it was funny because we did one of the girls that's been in, you're halfway through your recovery. One of the things that uh, <coughs> we uh, got from one of the girls who's here all the time, she said, oh, when we're working at higher cadence, I find it so much harder. Well, that's back to that whole thing of work on what you're not good at, reward yourself with what you're good at. So. If you're always just training around the systems, you've already kind of got dialed. Good for your head to do that, for sure, for confidence, but we want to be working the other systems and developing our ability overall. Okay? I'm going to have you start in 15 seconds. So this is 30 seconds, 85%, and a little bit above this time. This is our last one. Find that preferred cadence. Bring in some more gear. Bring in some more gear. Here we go. Two, one, and up, up, up. 30 seconds. Let's make this one for the finish line. Come on, guys. Halfway through. Halfway through. Keep it going. Last 10. Then into that comfortably uncomfortable. Five. Two. One. Back off the gear. Three minutes. Come on. Don't back off too far. Fight for it a little bit. In the first part, that lactic you built in your legs makes you want to back off more than we're trying to here. But that's 30 seconds. Stay in this rhythm now. Stay in it. Keep checking in. Keep checking in. Let's say you made it to this point with your posse. Someone in there you've got a bet on with. So right now, just trying to envision we're a lot more comfortable than we are. You've got some work built up in your legs. Everybody's legs hurt. Think of something else. All those people around you, their legs hurt. You got 90 more seconds here. Told you I have that heavy breathing. I tend to lock into it. Helps keep my rhythm. You use whatever works for you. Right here. 
Okay. Got a little posse around us. You've got a minute like this into your hard 30 seconds that this time is for the finish line. Don't give up anything right here. Come on. The drive over the line. This time, let's think about getting that gear a little early in our drops. Going for the finish line. Drops are down here, assuming you have them. Some trainers are set up differently. Okay, 15 seconds. Everything forward. This is the charge for the finish line. Bring that gear up. We're going in five, two, one. Come on, up, 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 all the way. 30 seconds. Bite-sized pieces, 10 at a time. That's 10. Come on, guys. Next 10. Keep it going. Wind it up. Little bit more. Last 10 seconds. Charging for the line. Come on. Think you can. Think you can. Up, 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 up. Three, two, and one. Awesome. Back it up. Recover, recover. Good for you. Never make a yippee too early. Remember when you think you got the wheel ahead, make sure you get it right across the line. And that might be a push might even just be doing a personal time trial by yourself and you can see those seconds on your Garmin counting down I don't know what it is about just making it under a 60 second 60 minute marker always feels like it counts or something one of our poor coaches just over four hours by, I think it was six seconds in the Whistler Grand Fondo one year. <laughs> Had to carry that six seconds around for another year. <clears throat> okay guys, just to push the blood around properly, you soft pedaled right off that effort. Now what I want you to do for the last couple minutes and before I leave you is preferred cadence again. I'm riding 94, 95, and I want you to bring some gear in to be closer to your 50%. Just so you're properly pushing the blood around, not letting it pool. And because we're riding tomorrow, we want our legs to feel good. Me riding with Max. And we are starting to uh, let people know about our club our tag club that is going to start again. The group outdoor rides, obviously, there's um, a start date we'll wait to hear about for having larger groups outside, but we're gonna be doing virtual social rides, Swift, and it'll be no drop. Uh, some connection, group gatherings, those kinds of things. And on that note, so there's an early bird um, there's an early bird registration February 15th. We have lots of fun with the club. The riding ability of everyone has really come up a lot. And uh, our daily prize today is a club membership. So someone is going to get invited to be in the club whether they were thinking they would or not. So that'd be awesome. Thank you everyone for joining me. I would like you to just keep pedaling if you can. A few minutes longer. That's a hard piece of work. And lots of high-end pushes. Tomorrow, a little bit more of a free-form ride with our friend Max. See what he's got to say 
always has something interesting. But for us this morning, I'll stay on the line. But that's a wrap.